Good afternoon and welcome to the Internet of Manufacturing. My name is Doug Drinkwater, I'm the editor of Internet of Business. I'm delighted today to be joined by Simon Bradley from Airbus Group. Simon, really good to see you today. Thank you, it's good to be here. Excellent conference. I really enjoyed your talk earlier um, on data uh, and data um, sharing and ownership. Um, talk us through first day what Airbus are doing with IoT. I know you're working with IBM uh, and doing some really interesting things in terms of collecting data and making sense of that data. Yes, yeah, so um, we have manufacturing facilities all around the world. Um, we've been using uh, IoT for years. For, for, for us, it's nothing new. It's just a, it's just a, a, a new spin on the technology. But we've been looking at collecting information from sensors in our factories for years. Uh, we were one of the first companies to use RFID technology, for example, in tracking parts. We are now moving towards uh, IoT devices to track tools that are in use in the factories to enable our engineers to know where their key tools are. Those tools can also be uh, telling us whether the torque is correct for, for um, implementation. Uh, we can look at when products need maintenance. So we're looking at a whole raft of things to not only improve the product, but also to reduce the cost and improve production capability. And what early benefits have you seen um, so far? I mean, it sounds like efficiency is, is, is a big driver for IoT and manufacturing more generally. But what have you seen uh, at Airbus Group? So certainly for us, a lot of it is around uh, two main drivers. It's reducing cost. Uh, of manufacturing, but also, and equally important, it's actually about speeding up production. So, for example, in our uh, aircraft manufacturing division, uh, we have recently announced that we're going to be increasing the number of uh, Airbus A320 family aircraft that we're going to be making per month. That's a massive commitment for us because uh, it's not a small job to make an aircraft. Um, and overall we produce around about uh, 80 to 90 aircraft a month. Uh, if you look at the fact that the average cost of those aircraft uh, is around about 150 to 200 million dollars each. Uh, we currently have uh, in the region of about 10 to 11 years worth of backlog of orders. So for us, increasing the production rate is a massive opportunity for us to change our cash flow. And what do you see then as the, the challenges that you face right now? Again, you touched on the, the kind of data ownership piece earlier, and it did sound like you were um, you know, f perhaps more convincing than, than others in that, in that debate, but what do you see as the biggest challenges for you guys at the moment? Well, one of the biggest challenges that we see is with the myriad of companies that are bringing IoT solutions to the market. Uh, one of the very strong drivers in manufacturing is that uh, if your factory is working, you don't mess with it. Uh, some of our machines have been working and operational for decades. Um, if you look at the life of an aircraft from the, the time you have a blank piece of paper through to the, the making of the aircraft, the production, the support, the maintenance and then through to end of life, you're looking at upwards of 80 years. So for us, one of the key challenges is finding suppliers that aren't going to change their technology in 18 months or 24 months or come up with something brighter and shinier because anything that gets installed in our production facilities has to be robust, but it also has to be there for potentially a very long time. And we find a lot of the IoT companies are very interesting, but are they going to be here in two years' time? And, and I used the example that I gave this morning of Revolve that Google bought. You know, all of those people that bought that home automation system now have a product that Google decided to end of life after only, only 18 months after buying the company. Simon, really appreciate your time today. Enjoy the rest of the show and I'm sure we'll see you each other around. Thank you very much.